Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to take Tainted Blue Baby to Mega Satan, maybe. I have not prepared this very well. I have not practiced as this character. I am hoping I vaguely recall how to do this, because this character is a little unusual with the many poops that he throws around with his little ways. I should probably at least kind of try to go for boss rush and uh, hush and all that as well, but I mean, we'll see what the run brings at the end of the day, I suppose. Every now and then, poops will drop on the floor that we can pick up for more uses of things. I'm going to put that bomb in my bottle over there so I can use it a little bit later. But for the most part, we're just going to see if we can make anything happen here because I, I have not played this character much at all. <laughs> I've done like two runs with him in total and we're going to see if it ends up working out. So far, uh, boss rush, if it... If the run is going like this, it's going to take years, so it's currently a little unlikely, but we'll see what we can get at the end of the day. There is Proptosis, which is a pretty interesting start to the run. It's a decent damage up, so hopefully that'll work out fairly well. We can kill these little poops in one hit now. I think you can get poops by destroying these as well, right? I recall that being a thing, but we'll see if it is true. <laughs> Let's... Oh, baby plum. Mm, I could use an active item, yeah. I'll just run around here for a little bit and wait for little plum to uh, do little plum things. I like my character's face right now. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's at least a way to fairly reliably kill some bosses. It could be useful against some of the angel statues as well. So I'm hoping that we can make some decent use out of that. I would like to explore the rest of the floor, I guess, but... I don't know. If I want to go for boss rush and stuff, I might not want to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There might also just be like extra health and things on the floor and that could end up being pretty useful. You could have stuff like this where it's a little tempting to try and get that gray chest at least. Might as well, I suppose. We don't currently have another bomb, which is a little worrying, kind of. Not like a lot. There is uh, that there. Can I blow up shopkeepers with this? Oh, look at that. That's neat. I was curious if that would work, and it actually does. That's nice. The secret room is not to the right of this room, which is against all my expectations, actually. So, genuinely not sure where that is right now. Uh, so, I think I'm a little tempted to go for the um, gray chest, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if that really gives me that much, so I might actually just leave that alone. Uh, I will go for the super secret room, though. Since that was pretty much guaranteed to be there. Golden key. Uh, we don't have another way to get to that golden chest, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to leave that alone. But, eh, we'll see. I'm pretty sure the poop that is currently selected is the one that spawns, like, blue flies if it's put into a room, so I might just put that in there. I think this one's pretty good as well, because it gives you, like, uh, stat-ups for all your inside it. That could obviously be pretty good. I, I, you can't spread it further than what I did there, which uh, is my mistake, but... It, uh, it definitely does have its uses. It might be the one that I end up putting in the thing there, because that... It is just a really nice way to get some extra stat-ups that way. I'm not sure if the... I think that I currently have is as reliable. Oh, nine poops is max right now? I think you can increase that with birthright, though. Or something like that. I think that is what that does. That's an unfortunate hit, but fair enough. We can only get soul hearts as this character as per blue baby tradition. I did not mean to actually throw the poop into the enemy there. <laughs> um, but fair enough. We have two bombs. But we will have to go a bit to actually reach them. We'll just poop on some of these, fart on some of them, rather. Uh, that's actually two parts of the Lord of the Flies transformation already, so that's probably the last fly we're ever going to see again. That's usually how it ends up going. Zero coins still, which is uh, not great, but fair enough. I'll just throw a random poop at them because it does deal with them a little bit. I need to stop running into enemies, though, because so far we're not finding anything that we, you would call health, which is... Uh, Worrying, but fair enough. I haven't seen any tinted rocks yet. There could be health in here, I suppose, which... At this stage, I might as well go for it, because we are not getting consumables again. It's just one of those days. Occasionally, you have days where consumables are just not going to happen, and unfortunately, on this day of recording, 
we have reached that day. I'm actually gonna do the boss first, I think. Because if I do the boss first and I can just use those two consumables that I have, the poop things. I can also use the fly, which is pretty great. But I can create like a nice little area here where I can more easily fight. That went way quicker than I had expected. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Don't need to worry about things too much. That that boss just died horrendously. Ooh! That could be an interesting thing to have in my pill pool, actually, because bombs are a little bit trickier right now to get a hold of. So that could end up being pretty useful. The, I, the secret room pretty much has to be here, I think. That or it's next to the shop, I guess. Probably have to look out for, like, gas as well. That really sucks. Uh, I would have really liked it if it was next to the curse room there. I guess it's next to the shop then? Uh, I guess I'll give it a shot, but... That's unfortunate. Uh, it's like here then, right? Uh, yeah, there you go. One key. Yeah, not much to go on there. Woof. Rough start. Rough start so far. Stat-wise, we're not... Like, it's it's good that we got the... Uh, the proptosis from the get-go, because at least we have some damage to work with, but I'd really like... Just more of everything right now, and we're already in the caves, but... Caves usually isn't the most precarious of places. There is a tinted rock here, but I will have to go through some poops to uh, get those. But yeah, this, this poop should spawn some blue flies that assist us on our journeys ahead. I will try to get this. Very good. I think you keep those blue flies as well when you leave the room, right? Yeah, you do. That's nice. I'm guessing the poop disappears, but... It's nice to at least have that. We are six minutes into the run, which is fine if we can get a little bit more stuff going. We are going for angel rooms as well, so we will have some spend some time on that. Also, I need to remember that I actually need to have a bomb for the angel room as well, which I might actually just put in the thing there. Uh, because otherwise I'm definitely going to forget about it. Use it by accident. So I definitely should not be using those willy-nilly, I suppose. I'll take the soul heart because that seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that and put that in there. I think this is just like a fart, right? I'll try and use it on enemies that are not these Well, I guess that works. It also creates a gas cloud, which is pretty important to know because I think if you touch gas with the fire poop, you still end up uh, causing an explosion as well. So that can end up being a way that we can sort of create our own little bombs in a way, so that's at least something. It's just a little fiddly, but that is ultimately how the character works. There's probably pins in here, given the green goop on the floor there randomly. Fun to see them teleport around, but at least it gives a pretty clear indication where that champion is, so not too bad. Full health does nothing. Uh, no idea where my item room is. I think I can probably just get away with destroying those two black poops and that'll probably do most of the work. And... yep. <laughs> there you go. I should be using these poops a lot more, I feel. Come out, my flies. Kill an enemy in the distance. I think... is this like a lot of bombs? I guess it might actually be, huh? Because it does look like explosive diarrhea. The icon. So that could end up being a way to deal with the bomb problem as well, if I just have many bombs instead. It's just a little unreliable, but... Not too much, I suppose, if I just put it in my jar. There we go. Slowly but surely, not quite hitting everything. Come on. There you go. One more. <laughs> Tiny farts. But overall, we came out victorious. Don't love this very much, please. Thank you. And Gertie. What am I going to do? Yeah, that is explosive diarrhea. Alright, that's good to know. It also saves some time with this boss because there is some stuff going on here. I'm just going to drop that on the side as well for some extra flies. Fart in his face, why not? You do some poison damage. Because we're going to get a bunch of more poops here anyway, so we might as well get the most out of it. Not an angel room, unfortunately. And our item room is a million miles away. Because <laughs> we have not found that yet, unfortunately. 
The Lord of the Flies transformation might be at least good enough to get me to the um, boss rush in time, just because that flight gives you so much extra protection, but simultaneously I'm not loving how this is working out so far. That's some more soul hearts. Like, protection-wise, we're good. And I probably could have destroyed the shopkeeper with the flames as well, thinking about it, but... Again, I really need to get used to this character because it's, uh... Sometimes it's new for everyone. <laughs> sometimes it's new for everyone. Sometimes I get stuck in a hole and take some extra damage, but then the fly comes out. That's Wafer. Oh, that's two things. Alright. I really didn't expect to get two things, but fair enough. I will happily take that. Not sure if I can go into this curse room for free or not. Oof, nearly ran into these spikes there, but that didn't happen. Uh, I will put you in there. I'm going to burn that one. Throw a bomb. That's not a secret room, really. Secret rooms are in awkward locations this round, jeez. Also, I don't think the poops stay, which is not great either. I guess I could have known. <laughs> I guess I could have known that there was going to be a secret room over here, but... I did not look at the room layouts well enough. But yeah, I don't, I don't see any more poops on this floor, so we will actually need to keep that in mind as well. Fair enough. Oh no, they do stay. They're just not on the map, I guess. That's a little annoying, but ultimately something we can work around. Uh, I think for this one, I'm just not going to go for a boss rush because this, uh, it's a little rough so far. With Wafer, though, it's a little tempting to go for sacrifice rooms. Uh, I do need to actually remember that I have Wafer, but that is at least a way that I could get two angel statues without definitely requiring bombs. So that could be pretty useful. We'll see, I suppose. For now, we'll just keep going. Would love to get some more tier 8. That's really one thing that I'm lacking the most right now, I feel. Hopefully we can get some of that. I'm just going to throw this somewhere in the middle there. Hopefully deal some decent poison damage. I guess as long as there's not like an enemy that shoots flames, then anything with gas isn't too terrible. But the moment there is any flames around, then it becomes a lot scarier. Where is that last enemy? There he is. Because those flames will explode the gas clouds and that's just a whole other mess. The black poops are pretty good as well, just because of that brief concussion effect makes it a little bit easier to clear rooms out a little bit safer. The poops also just deal decent damage when you throw them at enemies, which is nice. Definitely did that not very well, but fair enough. I'm just going to put you over there. You'll manage against that enemy, probably. There we go. Most of the damage was done by a little attack fly there, which is nice. I'm trying to find a bomb right now, really. There we go. I do need to remember that how the gas works. I keep forgetting every single mechanic of this character. <laughs> it is uh, becoming a little bit silly at this stage, but there's just a lot. There's a lot of stuff that you need to remember with this character, so it's easy to forget here and there. I don't think I want to reroll my build because I do think that the items that I have are quite good. It's just that I don't have a lot yet. No. Let's go in this direction first. See if we can find, like, an item room or something like that. This is worrying. It worked out. Those tears got real close. <laughs> but it worked out, as I said. Uh, let's just fart on that. Yeah, I think I can do like this. Yeah, and that creates a little explosion as well. So we got that going for us. We got our little attack fly doing a lot of work because I'm continuously taking damage. Tactically, of course, but still... Perhaps in a little bit of a too scary of a way. I uh, need to make sure I don't destroy those poops either, because that will actually uh, stop the flies from spawning as well. And I do like having those flies around. I think there's pins there? Nope. Just a tiny room. And that all loops into itself. That's interesting. Not quite what I was expecting with this map layout, but fair enough, I suppose. Um, just throw this somewhere and then... Put this in there instead. I think the startup could be useful against bosses. I guess specifically against angels, it might be pretty good if I use the item on uh, the actual boss itself, or the other way around would work, or just both against the angel. I can probably figure something out to make stuff work here, I'd say. Little tentacle doing its best, but the enemies are just a little bit too confusing for 
our little friend there. Come on. Oh, the other one of them actually did die. I didn't think he was dead yet, but fair enough. Mr. Me. That could be good. I'm not sure if I want it over what I currently have. It could be good if, I get, if we get a devil deal, but we are going to have other problems if we get a devil deal, I suppose. I'm not sure if I should go for Polaroid and negative either, because I think... Hmm. Like, Polaroid is amazing with this character. There's any character that has only soul hearts. Polaroid just becomes incredible. Because you'll always have that shield. Especially with Wafer, that's so much defense. But the negative is a little bit of extra damage. I can do the lamb part as well. Because we, we need to do pretty much everything as this character anyway. So it doesn't really matter what I start off with. This is not what you want to see. Oh, the little tentacle friend. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's actually a really strong combination. The tentacle is holding on to the boss. That's so good. Alright, definitely you. Because we need that tier 8. Now we're just going to spawn some flies. I'm going to just throw this right in the middle. And then we're going to throw that bomb at the angel statue. Yes, the tentacle is actually just being the best right now. It's amazing. That was We just destroyed that entire boss effortlessly. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, so Mr. Me is waiting for me, but I'm not sure if I'm too interested. I could destroy these flames. Uh, not sure if I want to bother, though. Can I do this? No. <laughs> Destroys the poop slowly. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that alone. I'll just keep the bomb for now. We have one angel piece, so that's good. All right. I'd love one more fly item. I'd love to get that transformation so we can actually do our thing. Is there an arcade room on that floor, actually? Because I could have played the shell game, I guess, with the amount of money that I had. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. No, oh, Maybe that wasn't an arcade room. I'm not sure. This looks very fiddly for one gray chest, but... Don't hate it. I could use the consumables, and quite frankly, I've given up on boss rush. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, I don't know what I expected to happen there, but it would have been nice if it worked out. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need, I feel, more tier 8, more everything to reliably do boss rush with this. Or at least today. I think on other days I might have been able to get away with it if I played a bit more comfortably. But again, it has been a while since I've properly played Isaac as well. So that's just going to be my series of excuses as to why we are taking things a little slow today. We'll get to the hard stuff in a later day, I'm sure. But for now... We're just going to do stuff that's a little odd. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go for that instead. There we go. Slightly more tear rate because of that candle. As long as I can stop taking damage from everything, then we're good. Or at least things that don't count as like self-damage in a bad way. <laughs> like I can go into a curse room without the flame going out, I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah. I'm just going to do this. I should really use these poops more. Uh, that, that's my main thing with this character. I don't know exactly when I should be using what, and I really should give that some thought, I think, because I, there's so much power to be had in this. I don't know if you can blow up... You cannot blow up rocks with that. That's good to know as well. Very nice. Because we're c continuously at nine poops as well. Like, we are definitely not using this <laughs> to its maximum potential at all. And uh, I think there's definitely a lot to be gained from using it properly as much as possible. Very nice. Um, I'll take that. Um, I could get a trinket, I suppose, but it's pretty expensive. I'd rather just look for another arcade room, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna put that in there. Oh, I don't... Mm. Can I get one bomb? Hang on. Let's just throw that. Put that in the jar. Use this. Very nice. Little bit more angel room and devil deal chance there. That is a key bum. Which I don't think I want, <laughs> given my key count being two. So I don't think I would like to bother with that. It might be good in like the uh, later, 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 later floors. But for now I feel like it's a little premature. So we're just going to leave that alone. Hopefully that flame will hit something eventually. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. 
But it technically might. It's not in a great place. I'll be, I'll be honest. Not my greatest work. That'll do some damage, though. I, th I think the poison is actually pretty strong as well. Plus the gas, of course, combined with the flame that was still there. Ended up creating a nice little explosion that killed a lot of stuff, so pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, you can actually just throw that through the mask, maybe. That could be pretty nice as well. Makes these rooms a little bit easier, at least. The flame is burning brightly. And giving us a decent amount of extra tier right there, so that's wonderful. Uh, there might be a super secret room up top there, but um, or maybe a regular secret room, actually, I guess. This is a pretty big floor. But, yeah, fair enough. Just slowly go and do our thing. Watch out for the jumping enemies that I was definitely aware of. I knew there were enemies, I did not know they were big jumps. <laughs> it worked out, though. Ooh. Like, look at that damage from a regular poop being thrown at your face. I mean, in real life, that would probably do about as much damage as well, I suppose, but... It's good that it does in this game as well. Admittedly, I've never tried, I guess, but I feel like... That might just be the case for the rest of my life. It's hard to predict those kind of things, I feel. When does your life reach that point? Let's just go fight the boss instead of worrying about this. Uh, I should probably do this, huh? Please don't jump. Please don't do your thing. Very nice. Just do the dying part. That's not, That's good. No devil deal again, which is not great. It is getting to the point where it's a little worrying. Um, also, we have 13 seconds to reach boss rush, so I'm actually just going to take a quick peek to see if there is a sacrifice room on this floor. Because my health is okay, especially with the wafer. There is not. But I might start actively looking for that now, because we are reaching the point where not having two key pieces is getting a little worrying. <laughs> I'd like to... Rectify that situation for sure. I guess it could be over here. No. Unfortunately not. Uh, okay, the rocks near the gray chests have been destroyed by the green statue in the middle. So I no longer need to worry about that. Two coins. 49 coins in total. I'd love to get uh, magic fingers again, I think, because that is looking pretty great at this present moment. I think it's about time we start just spamming poops all over the place because, quite frankly, they are not running out. They are staying with me for the entirety of this run. And I'm getting so many every fight as well, so maybe maybe it's time. We're gonna do this for a minute. Uh, what we're gonna do actually is... No, I'm gonna... I'll blow up that guy almost certainly. Uh, oh god, right, flies. <laughs> there went my tear right. Oh, jeez. Now, occasionally, Isaac's a little bit more difficult than other days, and today, today's one of those days. Today is one of those days where life is just a little bit trickier than on other days, and we're just gonna have to do our best during those times. I'm gonna see if I can use a couple of farts here and there to deal some damage and get to that little bomb icon over there. That's Arrow Walk. Which I'm not too interested in. That was a fart that I used on purpose. But at least now we have the bomb selected. And with that we can go back to the arcade room to destroy a battery bomb for extra chance of an angel room and devil deal. We have a moon card, so if there is a sacrifice room on this floor and we don't get an angel room at the end of it, then at least we have the choice to teleport away from that place and go to the sacrifice room instead, uh, depending on what is available, of course. Might also, I'm going to just blow up this, which I think I can do like that. There we go. Unfortunately, not much treasure to be had there, but still, it's something, I suppose. This is going to take a minute. That's two rows in a run where I'm playing the shell game. <laughs> For different purposes this time around, admittedly. This time I specifically want the item just so we can get flight. Uh, because, quite frankly, I'm not seeing Hutch happen anytime soon during this run either, so... 
Might as well spend some extra time to get exactly what I want. In the hopes that it does actually still exist in this character's item pool, of course, because so far it's a lot of red hearts and nothing, but that's two extra keys. Getting to the point that the battery bump might have been a good choice, but a little too late. I do not have a ladder to go back to the previous floor, unfortunately. Still haven't even seen Scatole show up during this, though, so there we go. Can we get it? Hey, there we go. That's flight. That is flies no longer mad at me. It is a lot of good stuff, really. So all in all, that is definitely going to make life a lot easier. We can do stuff like this. I don't know where the enemies are right now. I might have moved. Yep. Yeah, like that. <laughs> well, at least now we have the attack fly going at them, which is uh, kind of nice, I suppose. But I think I will just do it a little bit carefully. There we go. Let's just create a nice little streak here. We still get the startups even when we're flying, which is nice. It would have been really mean if it didn't, I suppose. <laughs> but still, just in case you had any doubt, it still does work afterwards, which is wonderful. That's two monstros. Hoping that the fire is going to do a little bit more than that, but... Let's see if we can throw a bomb at one of them, perhaps. After a big jump, that should be fairly doable. There we go. Kind of hoping to hit, perhaps, a uh, skull there as well, but fair enough. Doesn't matter too much at the end of the day, I suppose. Blood Puppy. We haven't seen this one yet. Might as well. This is not the best character to have this thing on, because it's effectively just a, a leech, really. Uh, only after a while, after killing enough enemies, it gets big and mad and starts attacking you. Uh, until you attack it for a bit, and then... It shrinks back to a normal size. It has like three different forms, which is this and then bigger and even bigger. With the wafer, it always will deal the same amount of damage, but I think the bigger form is like half a heart of damage to you, and the biggest form is like a full heart of damage to you. And one nice thing with other characters is that you can just place one bomb and it'll just go back to the previous form, so you don't really have to worry about stuff too much. And with this character, that obviously becomes a little bit more tricky due to the fact that bombs are just... A little bit weirder to get in general, so it uh, becomes a little bit less reliable of a method to actually deal with the enemy there, but yeah, it's fair enough. Um, I think I still have to blow up a shopkeeper, but I'm not 100% sure. It's extremely likely. I do not recall blowing up a shopkeeper at all, so... It would be surprising if I didn't have to do it, I suppose. That's not what you want to see. There's very little sacrifice rooms on these floors. I can actually just use the moon card now because I have no reason to go back anymore, I guess. The moon. So that's at least something. Um, right. What we're gonna do is use that. Might as well take the flat penny since we didn't have a trinket anyway. Extra key. We have a couple bombs waiting for us, so that's nice. Um... Just put that in there. I'll use this during the start of the next fight to create some flies and such. Yeah, throw that there. Create a big smudge in possibly the worst location I could have chosen. Because <laughs> uh, I need to be rather close to the door to use this uh, kind of properly, but fair enough. As long as I take heed of any attacks from above, we should be okay. That's not the worst place, I guess. I mean, I can at least attack in a couple different places. We didn't get another Devil Deal. Are you serious? Oh, that's getting really rough, actually. I'm going to go for the negative this time around, just because I feel like I could use a stat up, because quite frankly, our stats are not great. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to have a Angel Room or Devil Deal open on the next floor. Yeah, because that's not going to lower because we don't have red health. I forgot to use my uh, little plum there. I probably should be using that more often anyway. And uh, maybe even during like a big room or something I might just use it. Maybe during like a mini boss or something like that I might be used like that, yeah. Because uh, that's, that's just nice. <laughs> it's, uh, 
I have, I have created a build where I have to think about so many different aspects all the time that I can be using, and I'm genuinely forgetting about all of them. It is, uh, it's a little unfortunate. Let's get the blood puppy to kill some stuff. Yeah, there you go. Now the blood puppy's a little bigger. And you can't just leave it. And it will just try to charge you the entire time unless there's like enemies nearby. It doesn't spawn immediately next to you, which is nice as well. That's a sticky penny. And there are other damage sources that do damage the enemies here. I'm gonna see if I can get it as big as possible, just because I'm a little curious. I've never... I haven't done this in so long, I don't really remember what it looks like even. Also not... Oh, I guess he creates items, or it hearts at least. That's neat. Didn't know that was even a thing. But like, during this, I might as well. Like, the spider mod is occasionally damaging him a little bit. But I think that's really the only damage we're dealing to him right now. Uh, of course, Brimstone also pretty, uh, uh, pretty good at dealing damage to him like this. Oh god, that's not a great room. <laughs> I'm barely firing tears right now, but it's working. I might reconsider that room in a minute. I'm just gonna... I'm hoping that this will go for the enemies eventually. Okay, he's more interested in me right now. <laughs> These are not really the enemies where this works on. I'm gonna just start shooting my thing because this is just a little bit too fiddly for my taste. Oh, there we go. Nice. Very good. I'm just gonna hang out over here for a minute. Ooh, those are explosions, though. That might actually end up killing him. No, it didn't. That's interesting. I guess it really has to be like a regular bomb. Struggling to get this character to grow, though. It's uh, requiring a lot more attacks than I thought it would. Because it's based on like the amount of kills, I think, that uh, the blood puppy gets. So... I'm gonna look for a demon beggar in case there is one on this floor. Because I think that could end up uh, helping out a little bit. I'm also just gonna go in that room. Oh, explosive diarrhea pill. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, real rolls up pickups in the entire floor. Yeah, I'll do that. Might get some more soul hearts that way. Golden chest. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> that just creates a bunch of poops this time around, of course. But still, it's something. Could also destroy these poops, I guess, for some extra soul hearts, maybe. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, now we got the big boy. <laughs> uh, you do not want to get hit by this if you don't have wafer in like a regular floor, because it does deal like a full heart of damage, I think. But look at him. He's huge and wonderful. And probably deals a whole bunch of damage to enemies as well. But we do have to be a little careful. He spawns in odd places, to say the least. Soul of Samson could be good, I guess. But I do like having judgment for the next floor. Oh yeah, we unlocked the High Priestess card earlier. And uh, now we can have the Cursed Shovel effect whenever we want, when we get that card. So yeah, that's good. That's specifically the kind of thing that we want for our builds, of course, so... Very nice. Uh, Wheel of Fortune... I could blow it up, but it's just... Uh, it's a bit much. No demon beggars so far. I could check the curse room. Oh, you go through rocks, do you? <laughs> That's a, a worrying realization. <laughs> I was not aware. But that's good to know, I suppose. Ooh, he's getting real tiny because of the, the spider mod. We did get some tear rate, so that's nice. I guess I'll check the, uh, the curse room. Yeah, I mean, I'm only going to get hit once, so it's not too terrible. But I'd really just like, uh, I'd really just like it to be a little simpler. Ooh, my tear rate's good. Especially with the candle, I guess, as well, but... <laughs> he got stuck on a rock. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what do we got? We do not have what I want to see here, unfortunately. Uh, button with nothing. Could be some stuff in there, but yeah, fair enough, don't worry about it. Let's just hope for an angel room. <laughs> Again, no sacrifice room to speak of, which is not great. Uh, if you could just go for the boss. I mean, I'm aware that it's on the top of the floor here, but I feel like you could do some decent damage if you really wanted to. That's a devil deal. With shade, of all things, so not even an exciting one. Well, that either leaves us with one chance remaining. Or um, a sacrifice room. Or dad's key, or nothing. I mean, a get out of jail free card. 
uh, cracked orb. There is still some potential of ways to open that door, I suppose. It's just not really ways that I want to. I guess I could have used Judgment on the previous floor and hoped that it was a Demon Beggar that we would have gotten, but it wouldn't be exactly great of an idea. Not exactly what I want to be going for there. A uh, bunch of garbage. Let's just blow those up from a distance. Yeah, my turret's great as long as I don't take damage. <laughs> Blood puppy dropping full hearts every now and then that I unfortunately cannot use as this character, but fair enough, I suppose. This is also just some tainted uh, Jacob practice. <laughs> uh, just have to... I mean, it's a little bit less high stakes than Tainted Jacob, admittedly, and that'll be a story for another day. But it is, it is, it counts. I'm gonna say it counts a little bit. Obviously, with it getting stuck into rocks like this. Still a little different, but overall, similar vibes. Uh, mustn't shoot you. Nah, nah, you know, he's helping out. He's doing his best. I appreciate him for what he is. He's not really... he gets stuck a lot. <laughs> but I st that doesn't mean I don't appreciate the attempts, at least a little. And, you know, you gotta make your runs a little bit more interesting somehow, and having a, an item that actively haunts you the entire time is certainly a way to do it. Um, I will once again look for a demon beggar. That is not a demon beggar. That is some spiders that are way more expensive than they were worth. Do not know where my friend is. There he is. All right, let's just leave that alone. Probably not gonna suddenly appear from the side. Definitely not. Uh, oh God, this is worrying. This is not a great room. It worked out though. Like if I didn't have Wafer, I 100% wouldn't even have picked up the blood puppy, but since I'm feeling a little uh, happy about my build, and since we're seemingly going the way of just not getting enough angel room pieces to uh, to actually do what I want to do, might as well have a little fun. Might as well enjoy myself a little bit. That was an intentional, but I might have reached the point where I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to shrink you a little bit. Simultaneously, though, it is kind of fun to have him just zip around. Ooh, good chest so far, though. Ooh, really good chest. Wow, that's about as good as you can get from that. Whoops. <laughs> Might as well. Range up, not bad. I'm gonna put you in there so you have some bombs available if needed. Now, I would like to look for my secret room just so we can maybe blow up a shopkeeper somewhere. Um, there are various places where it could be, but some more likely than others, I suppose. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, God. Um, all right, so definitely press the wrong button there. Let's just throw it over there. That might cause some trouble. Uh, whoop. Wow, he's still big, really. How much damage do you actually need to take for this? Because <laughs> I know you got hit by the bombs there. You got hit by the explosions, and you're still huge. There we go. We got our little friend back. I guess it's just like the medium form that dies in one. That's fair enough. All right, let's just do that. Um, we have one bomb waiting for us. So that's good. We have gotten as much chance of stuff that we can realistically get. There could still be a demon beggar somewhere in this direction. We have blown up a judgment card, so we cannot increase our chances any further. Except through items or something like that. Yeah. This is fine. The blood puppy can deal with this. Very nice. Just wanted to give a hug. And again, no sacrifice room. None. It's, it's actually wild. <laughs> how little sacrifice rooms we've been seeing in this run, but yeah, fair enough. Don't need any more money. We're a little bit late to try and get the hush as well. All right, 
Let's go fight a boss and hope that we get an angel room. I am not hedging my bets right now, but I mean... It's like a 40% chance of the door opening at all. There might still be a sacrifice room on the next floor as well, I think. Oop. Throw that flame in there. Get rid of some eyes. Throw a poop. Very nice. There is a... Uh, weird little tear patterns here. I'm not sure what the worm exactly does against this boss, because it is holding the boss the entire time. I feel like it has an effect, but I'm struggling to explain how it feels. Also, there's an angel room there, so all in all. That's pretty great. I will take that. Uh, I'm just going to throw that over here. I'm going to make sure to hit that purple flame. And now we're just going to have a good time. Once again, the tentacle is just holding on to the angel. Making this about as effortless as it can be. <laughs> Very good. All right, we got our full key. We have the things required to go to Mega Satan. Our build is a little lackluster, admittedly, but it'll do. We have decent tier rate. We have some damage. It, uh, it'll have to do, I suppose. We have the Blood Puppy. We have a lot of health. We do have, a, just with Wafer especially, we have so much more health than we really realistically will need, but... Yeah, it's a little rough for sure. The Tentacle with Lil Plum combination is also actually just... Something I have not made enough use of during this run, because quite frankly, it is a powerful combination for any run, really. So I'm happy that I actually unlocked that the other day, whenever that day was. I don't know what time is anymore, it's been... It's been a wild ride, but... Yeah, it's working out. And the whole build is, is somewhat working out. Tears up pills... Our pill pool's good. We have Lord of the Flies, so we don't have to worry about these two brimstone things too much. I don't think they hurt me when they explode, right? Yeah. I think that would have hit me with where I was there. Some of these rooms are just like, here's some friends, and then you just leave. So it's, it's, I'm very happy that I actively decided to play the shell game at the end there, because quite frankly, I do think it has made life at least a little bit easier. I should probably pick up money in case I get like money equals power or something, but yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think Troll Bombs might be turning into um, poops as well or something like that because that red chest had two poops inside it and I don't think I've actually seen a Troll Bomb. Yeah, fair enough. Alright. Let's go fight a Satan. There we go. Waiting until the second phase to use a little plum there. go. Hello, friend. There you go. You are in the center of the room. <laughs> but it worked out. And now just some legs. Gotta watch out for a couple of explody socks, but overall I'd say this battle is going excellently. Very good. Oh god! <laughs> I was not paying attention anymore. <laughs> And the blood puppy has apparently gotten the killing blow on that enemy there, so fair enough. Let's just keep going. <laughs> oh god, that really caught me off guard, but yeah, fair enough. That's how you keep it interesting. No, no, no. Um, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm not going to take anything else, but... This could end up being like a lot of extra damage at least, and given that taking damage is not that big of a deal, I do not hate that. If we could get some more health, that would be lovely. I'm not exactly expecting it, but it would be nice. Oh yes, that's what you want to see. That's how you kill a monster too. You just get some flies that explode into brimstone and then win the fight instantly. I did not need to use that poop there, <laughs> but that's okay. It's time that we just start using them willy-nilly, because I'm not... I mean, I could just save a whole bunch of those fly poops, I guess, for Mega Satan, because it would be pretty good there. Yeah, there you go. The tentacle might actually be really good against this boss as well, if it ends up not jumping around because of it. 
And uh, it uh, still jumped, so yeah, fair enough. I did see the tentacle leave afterwards, so it might just not care about tentacles too much, which I suppose I wouldn't either if I had a choice in the matter. There we go. Uh, this is a little bit of a fiddly one to do. There we go, never mind. We got a tentacle that stops everything. It's such a good item, actually. It's an item that I haven't gotten that frequently either, but it's it's working out so well in so many instances. It's a good friend. It's just a good friend run. We got a little puppy there. We got a good friend, Grabby Boy, and all in all, all in all, you can't really complain about a build like this. I don't like that boss very much though, because I frequently get hit by it. Yeah, by that right there specifically. With flight, it is a little bit easier because that spike attack. I don't think it does anything, but it's still a little spooky. Oh god. No, 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 no. It is a little bit easier when there's only one of them, but is interestingly, the other one just didn't do that much. <laughs> Dead cat is not super exciting right now, but could be good. If I want to have a truly miserable experience during the uh, lamb fight, I suppose. And, you know, sometimes I do feel like having that, so it's nice to have the option. I have not paid very close attention to where I've been going. <laughs> I am a little lost. Also, we haven't gotten many chests. Really? Like, barely any, actually. So that's a little unfortunate. I'm gonna just throw this around. Because this is gonna be a lot of tears otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. We got hit two hits there with one bomb. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put one inside there. Oh god, Blood Puppy, please. <laughs> I do need to be more mindful of that. I'm never safe at the end of a fight. Is a thing I need to remember. <laughs> and that might actually start, like, play out in Mega Satan as well. That was a really bad dodge. Because with Mega Satan, there is just plenty of enemies that the puppy can eat after all, so it's a little worrying. This floor is infinite. I'm not loving this. Oh god, there's enemies in that corner as well. Yep. Oh god. Oh no. It's falling apart. I mean, we'll have max damage now at least, but... It's, uh, my... I need health. I need items. I need anything, really, and nothing is dropping. Well, that's something. <laughs> uh, it's at least more tier 8, so I can appreciate that, but really, realistically, I'd love to just have anything, and so far it's just been a lot of nothing. Like, that trinket has been the best thing that we've gotten this floor, except for maybe, uh, bloody lust at the start there. Oh my god. It's a good thing we had Wafer, otherwise we'd be dead already. <laughs> it wouldn't even be close. Admittedly, that might also make me a bit more callous, and maybe the reason we have Blood Puppy and all that stuff, but still, it, it definitely does feel like it's helping out a little bit, at least. There's a black heart there. Not a super secret room there, unfortunately. Uh, that might... Cause more tr no, no, that works out. Because <laughs> that poison cloud gets rid of everything that he spawns, so actually that's pretty good. And then it suddenly started raining soul hearts, so you know what? Uh, once again, the power of complaining has saved my life. Um, th there is still technically the dead... Jeez, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what, fair enough. I'll just take three soul hearts in a row, that's entirely fine. I'm just gonna throw that out. Yeah, that's gonna be... yeah, purple. But that's fine if it's, uh... gonna get blocked entirely by Little Plum there. There we go, that's the fight already over, no. That is the lamb completed, just Mega Satan remains. And I think I'm just gonna go straight there because I... I don't know what else I have left to explore on this floor. I've seen a lot of rooms. Interestingly, I think it was actually zero chests in total. Like, that's actually almost impressively terrible. <laughs> Got a lot of soul hearts at the end there, but that's really it. Which is a little rough, to say the least, but, you know, what? fair enough. We're just gonna have to make do with what we got, as per usual. I think I poisoned both the hands. No, I poisoned him as well. Never mind. Looked like I didn't quite did it, but it worked out. Seeing his health bar is actually kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know at what point of his health bar he actually got the next phase. I guess, yeah, quarter makes sense. Given how many phases there are. Yeah, that's nice. I should just use a whole hundred of these, I suppose. 
No real reason not to just start spamming poops all over the place here, especially against this boss right here. If we get a delirium portal, I might be a little miserable. Because <laughs> fighting delirium like this is going to be a l somewhat rough. Unless we get like a uh, Nod Leaf or something like that. It would be long, but it would be doable. There we go. Bomb helped out at the end of the phase there. Might use another bomb. When there's four enemies in the room, there is the Blood Puppy once again. Which I really wouldn't mind to just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Don't mind that at all. And then we're just going to use Explosive Diarrhea to hopefully deal as much damage as possible here. Oof. Yeah, the way for 100% saved my life during this run, it is... Uh, <laughs> I've taken so much damage. But fortunately, I can. If I did not have that ability, then uh, I don't know where this run would have died, but it absolutely would have. It has been a little bit of a rough one. That just saved him. <laughs> that really only stopped da me doing damage there for a second, but yeah, no, fair enough. Oop. Not quite hitting anything with that flame there, unfortunately, but fair enough. Slowly but surely getting to that next phase, and I'm just going to throw that. Make a big line over there. Ooh, that's hallowed ground coming up as well. Which I definitely forgot was even an option. I guess I would also rather Delirium with Polaroid than... Uh... Ooh, look at that. I don't know what his health is, because for some reason the spider mod does not show it with this boss, I guess. It does for the first form, but not the second, which is a little annoying. Yeah, I moved up too far away from him, unfortunately. Oh, this is rough. Oh, that slowdown is making this unbearable. Oh, jeez. Uh, the flame isn't quite hitting him either. What is slowing him down so much? I actually don't know. I'm just going to put that in the middle there. I'm just going to create a little wall of protection. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this. Ugh. I feel like the fight should be almost over at least, but whatever is slowing him down continuously is making these attacks almost indodgeable. <laughs> Which is not great. Uh, two hearts remaining. Four hits in total. Come on. There we go. A lot of poopy explosions happening here. Well, we unlocked the Charming Poop, which is nice. I guess I'll try. I mean, it would be kind of a waste not to, but simultaneously, I am not feeling this. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I think the Charming Poop, like, creates those little poop friends or something like that when you destroy it. So that's kind of nice, at least. At least we have a map again, so that's something. If we can get some health, then we definitely have a chance, I'd say, but... Oof. It has been a run. <laughs> it has been an absolute mess of a run this time it has been, but, you know, sometimes it's like that. Not every run can be... Oh my god. <laughs> Will we even reach Delirium? Who knows? I'm fairly sure it cannot be Delirium over here, at least, so... Oh god, that's not a great boss to have, though. Especially if he just does that immediately. I was really hoping that he wouldn't please, though. Because he would have probably died to the worm friend otherwise. Black Circle. Black Powder, I mean. Black Circle is also a name for it, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it's... It's looking unlikely. <laughs> Half a heart Skolex, that's always a good time. And Skolex, admittedly, is not... The worst boss in the world, but the moment you have half a heart, everything goes a lot scarier, usually. Now, I'd like it if you do that attack where the butt shows, so I can do the killing immediately. But instead, you are just going to do the slowest strategy. <laughs> One more. There you go. Hey, look at that. Two soul hearts. We're good again. I think technically this could be Delirium, just because it could go downwards. Uh, which would be bad, so we're just gonna leave that alone. Soul's pretty good. 
Soul is going to protect us from some of the tears at least, so that's at least some level of protection. Um, admittedly, I'd like a little bit more health if we really wanted to go for something, but we'll, we'll see what happens here, I suppose. Again, should probably be using these poops a little bit more. My tier rate is ridiculous. It's a shame about most of the rest of the build. <laughs> uh, we got Wafer and we have uh, high tier 8 decent damage, but it's just, it needs to be so close, and that's just a really worrying thing. Oh god, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. You are dying first, even though you can drop a dead cat, and that is a little tempting at this present stage. I'd rather not. Also, you turned it puppy and do a big puppy again immediately. <laughs> but that's pretty okay, I guess. Could end up being useful. Uh, these enemies are dying very quickly. At least. Like, clearing rooms is no longer a real issue, which is good, but I'm just gonna throw a bomb at that. Don't want to deal with any of that nonsense right there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that in there. That's the whole room. Yeah. Just a whole room of champions that are now my friends. That's good. That's a good time. Bunch of nastiness. I'd really love some more health. If we have a lot of health, then I feel fairly comfortable that we'll probably win against Delirium, but... Uh, with this amount of health, I feel comfortable that I'm gonna die after a long period of trying to explore. <laughs> uh, this is probably not Delirium, though. Because it cannot go up or down properly. So let's just see what this is. Good, it's the other one. Exactly the kind of boss that you want to see. Really want bosses that just land on me. <laughs> that would just be ideal if we could just get more of that. That's a health up at least. Uh, Faded Polaroid's definitely not going to give me as much tier rate as I currently have, so we're just going to leave that alone. That is an indestructible enemy until we have destroyed the right things. So we're just going to leave that champion alone as well. There we go. Slowly but surely. Maybe now? Yeah, there you go. That's a completed room. Um, might be Delirium. There's a lot of maybes here, which I'm not loving. If we could teleport out of any of these rooms, that would be ideal, but... Those two on the top right, I feel, are both very viable, depending on how the rest of this floor looks. The bottom right one is still looking like the least likely of the ones that I currently have available, I feel. Maybe the one on the bottom left as well for similar reasons, because if it would expand to the right, then it wouldn't be able to. Like, it can expand to the left, which is really the main thing. Yeah, it's... Uh, tinted rocks, maybe? Nope. Never. Only enemies in sadness. <laughs> There we go. I might go for that, you know? I have some bombs available. I don't particularly need explosive diarrhea. So, yeah, there you go. Could be good. It wasn't, but <laughs> it could be. So, there you go. Uh, I guess that poop... Uh, I was going to say that poop might be kind of good during Delirium, but the Delirium is just going to destroy that the moment it gets anywhere near it with the, with the amount of tears that he shoots, so... It's probably not going to do too much at the end of the day. I wish we had spider friends as well. That would actually be kind of a nice item to have right now. Maybe somewhere on this floor we'll get it, but... Not exactly holding my breath, and also by the time that we get it, we might not really need it anymore. Really just wanted it for that room specifically, now that I'm thinking about it, but still, it would just be a nice thing to have during very specific situations. Um, I am looking for Tinted Rocks. <laughs> I might be missing them, admittedly, but I am genuinely looking for them. Come on. That is Mr. Mega. That's another fun, fun fight time against my friend. I guess this just gives you five poops. Not sure. Or I guess, yeah, I mean, it'll probably just work like Mr. Mega does with the bombs, but still. This is a little unusual for sure. Oh, that's a room. If I just hold down, does that work? Yeah. Okay, so with the boss room being there, I think both of these are not delirium, so that's good, I guess. There we go. 
Nice and quick. Placebo. Do we have good pills on the floor? No. <laughs> Do we have pills on the floor? No. Well, that ends that search, I suppose. <laughs> if we find a balls of steel pill, it would obviously be amazing, but... Uh, we would need to actually find it. Which is difficult enough. I guess if I find another unidentified pill, I might as well go for it. I know there's a health down pill. Which also wouldn't be terrible, because then we could just use it when we're at one health and it'll be a health up instead. So it's just like a bad health... A bad balls of steel pill at that point, but still, it would get the job done. It would be some extra things that we do not need to worry about. A little bit of extra health, really, so that would be nice. But definitely not a guaranteed find. If we could just find any pill, anything, really. <laughs> if we could just find a thing, that would be lovely. So far, there's been a very big lack of things in general. And I would like some more things, please. Maybe just some bosses that drop a soul heart when they die. Like stuff like that. Like little things. That's another good place for delirium to maybe be. <laughs> uh, so many places where delirium could be and no way to teleport out of any of them, which is really unfortunate. At least there's one place left where it definitely isn't, I'm pretty sure, and then a couple where I'm just not 100% sure if it can be there or not. But I feel like it should be able to be there. But those are going to be the places I'm going to try first, obviously, because I just want to get as much stuff. That's a puppy that wants to kill me again. Come on. There you go. Alright, that's pretty much the whole floor taken care of. We haven't found a super secret room, and quite frankly, with this character, I doubt we ever will. There's just a lot of options. Like, bottom right, I feel, is unlikely. And then this one here, specifically. Just because they are not really... going too far outside of the places where it could be. I Words are hard. Let's just go to this boss right here. It's Gish. I don't think he drops Gish specifically, if you fight him here at least, so that's something. There we go. It's a tier rate of 7.8. It's actually so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, my damage is 6. That's good. And a Tinted Rock right there as well. With a Soul Heart inside, that's wonderful. Okay. Now we're going to go for bottom left, then we're going to go for bottom right, and then it's just whichever. Unless we find Delirium first, of course. There's another Tinted Rock there. That's really nice. They were all waiting for the boss rooms. That's actually not bad either. Because that'll definitely happen more often than not. It's a shame we couldn't find a pill anywhere, but still. <laughs> um, right, so I'm just going to put that over there. Throw a poop in that direction, roughly. Just throw this around somewhere. Uh, hopefully, that'll do. That's another soul heart. Alright, now all the way to the other side of the map. <laughs> this may seem a little overkill, but quite frankly, delirium worries me with every fiber of my being. Even though I'm effectively at full health with every, every any other character right now with uh, Wafer, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I don't see a tinted rock here immediately, unfortunately, but that's fine. Can't always get a tinted rock on every boss room. <laughs> Would have been nice. Nazi bombs? I mean, sure. Not sure how that's going to affect my life, but we're going to find out together. And I think... Which one's closer? I mean, I guess I might as well go for the one to the right over there. I don't think I missed any Tinted Rocks. I could look a little bit further for the Super Secret Room, because I really haven't given it a shot at all. But I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. So let's just try this. It is not Delirium, it's Satan. Just gonna throw that over there. Just immediately get some damage in. Hopefully we can get through this without taking any damage as well. No, oh my god. <laughs> that was exactly the one attack that I was just not mentally prepared for at all. That's really unfortunate. I really can't. That's my tier 8 gone as well, which is really the most unfortunate thing. Because most of that was in the candle. 
We'll get a little bit back after we kill this boss, admittedly, but... Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's actually really good, especially with 4.5 volt. Okay. That is... Uh, that's a lot better than anything else <laughs> I could have possibly gotten. So that might save us. Admittedly, my tier rate still isn't terrible by any means, and we do still have a couple of poops available that'll increase our stats as well. Rock Bottom would have been really nice for this build. I guess Rock Bottom on this character is just amazing, because you can just get that stat up from uh, the poop and just make your build better. There we go. Slow. Just gonna take my time here. As much as I can. Throw poops all over the place. Maybe create like a nice little barrier. <laughs> Make life a little bit safer. These bosses, please. Slowly but surely charging up that satanic Bible as well, which is wonderful. Oh god, that does some stuff. Maybe I shouldn't be throwing poops around all over the place. Because it's causing some weird effects. Oh god. Did not intend for that hit, but fair enough. God, 4.5 volt and satanic Bible on the same floor is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Definitely don't mind it, though. I will happily take that for any other character that has to fight Delirium as well, because quite frankly, this... Like, what am I even fighting? <laughs> Especially when the tentacle is making it out, do weird stuff. It's just very hard to predict what you're supposed to do sometimes. Suddenly explosions everywhere. Go. Got some poison in. We're actually healing more than we're taking damage. <laughs> That's probably not going to stay that way, but still, is we could just keep that up for the rest of the fight. That would be lovely. Isaac. Oops. The black hearts are also just charging so much of the item as well, which is really nice. It's actually charging so quickly as well, which is surprising. Oh god, please! Smashing my use item button. <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. This is, uh, this is amazing, honestly. This is exactly what you need for a fight like this. The lamb appeared to have dropped his body there and then just left, which is a choice. Not quite agreeing with the fact that that character can make that choice, but fair enough, I suppose. And the soul occasionally moving those tears away from me as well is just so nice. It's just become a really defensive build. <laughs> like, overly so. This this build could fight basically anything at this stage just because of those extra little things at the end. Unfortunately, no R key to really... And, and, uh, R key in a school bag to really finish the build. But you know what? We're just going to have to make... Uh, just going to have to accept that, unfortunately. <laughs> yep, that looks normal. Just an enemy zapping all over the place. It's just standard movement. Lamb once again dropping one of his bodies, just shedding. <laughs> the lamb's actually known to be just a big lizard, but yeah, that's those are the things you learn as you're playing this game more and more. Come on. I mean, we're effectively invulnerable, so it really didn't matter at that point anymore. <laughs> we left the delirium fight with more health than we lost. That's actually ridiculous. Very happy about that. That is one of those things that you don't want to bother with. We unlocked IBS, which uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's just effectively what the blue baby has, but on other characters, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good run. Pretty okay. It was a mess. It was real messy, but it, it got to the end. <laughs> That's good enough for me. I think even without that satanic Bible, there's a decent chance we would have died to delirium at the end there because we healed a lot. And we did take a couple of hits there as well, so it was uh, rough going all around, but somehow still managed to drag ourselves to the end through sheer invulnerability, and I, for one, can appreciate that. Hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another run with a different character, and I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>